So I've read you're very superstitious. That's true, right? Not as bad as I used to be. I'm, I go to mass more now, so I don't have to be as superstitious, I think. And as I go to mass, the people that know me, like, you shouldn't be doing that anymore. That's That works against everything you're saying. So here, here are examples I've at least heard of in the past that uh, you would not start a player who cut his hair on game day? Yeah, you can't do it. A game day haircut, you're out. You can't um, you, there was a period where you were eating only fast food chili? I did that for a while. It was good, though. It was good chili. And, and then if you're winning in a tournament, sometimes you won't change your clothes? No, I change, the, no that, okay. that's not true. Okay. But the other stuff. And, and, <laughs> I mean, the other and, two are bad enough. And so. there, was, there was oatmeal at every breakfast. Okay. No raisins. If you put raisins in the oatmeal, I would go bonkers. Anytime there's raisins, you lose every time. We were 27 <laughs> and 0. I walk in and there's raisins in the oatmeal. Literally grab the oatmeal, throw it against the wall. You did not. What? I threw it against the wall <laughs> and we lost the game at home. We had a 50 game win streak and we lose the game. I knew we were going to lose. I think I got thrown out of the game for not saying anything. You go ahead. You put. Any coach out there that wants to lose, you make sure they put raisins in the breakfast oatmeal. You, you'll go down. Don't worry about that. But the superstitions are gone now. No, I still, you what, know. What, what are they now? I, you know, for some reason, I've always, if I find a bobby pin, wherever I am, if I'm walking down the street and I find a bobby pin, the good Lord's telling me something good. And it's, and I pick up the bobby pin and I have it and I have them all on my desk up there. So I have bobby pins everywhere. So you saved them all? I, yeah, they're in my coat. I'll take them out and put them over here. Sometimes I leave them in my coat, you know, and I'll feel, oh, we're going to be good tonight, you know, and it's, it doesn't have any effect on anything. There were people, there was a time where my in-laws came to a couple games and we lost. So what did I say? What you, they, I don't they, want was, them there. I told my wife. I thought you were going to say so, there were no, raisins I didn't want in them there. And they're the, <laughs> nice, they're the nicest people, but I didn't want them at the game. I mean, if they come to the game after. You really I'll asked them the not hotel. to come? Well, what happened was we were playing St. Louis. You sure Lewis. that goes over great with Ellen? She would get so mad. My parents aren't the reason we're losing. Yes, they are. We're winning every game until they come. So we're playing St. Louis. And Charlie Spoonhour, rest his soul, one of the great men of all time, they want to come to that St. Louis game in St. Louis. I don't want to leave them tickets or we're losing the game. So I asked <laughs> Charlie to leave them tickets. Can you leave them tickets? <laughs> no, and Charlie left them tickets, and what happened? <laughs> Charlie lost. I told him at the final four, I hate to tell you what I did to you, but I, I mushed you. I knew it was a mush. Now I'm like, um, I bring them to final fours. I bring them to the, they were at the national championship game. They don't want to come because they know I, I said, would you stop? I was 30 years old when I was doing that. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.